Right, okay then Bob, what I'm going to show you now um, is a technique that uh, we can use on a lot of lever deadlocks, uh, including a lot of British standard locks, and it's uh, designed to work alongside the LTC cur uh, curtain wheel pick. And what they basically are are wi uh, wires that we've adapted um, to act as overlifters. Okay, so we'll basically be overlifting the pack, uh, applying a bit of tension uh, on and off to the bolt as we overlift uh, and eventually the locks tend to open. It's not going to work on every lock that you've taken this on. Uh, a lot of it will depend on the combination of the levers within the lock. Um, but it's worked on, on around 80% of the locks uh, that we tried. Uh, but I'm going to show you how this works now. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to pan round so we can see the lock in question. Okay, I'm going to show you a few locks being opened here. Okay, the first lock that we've got here um, is a Union uh, British Standard deadlock. I'm going to show you this being overlifted. Just like all the locks that we always show you, um, rest assured that none of the locks have been tampered with in, a, uh, in any way, because uh, obviously it would be completely wrong for us to do that. So we don't want to lead anyone uh, down the wrong path as such. Okay, so what I'm going to basically do is put the T-bar in, insert my overlifting pick into the keyway, up to the groove and basically what I'll be doing is brushing and overlifting the underside of the pack at the same time on and off with the tension. Okay, so I, what I basically do is turn the overlifter so I'm underneath the pack, apply the tension on and then start to lift through. And I'm on and off with the tension all of the time. You can see how quick that was. Okay. What we always do when we use overlifters picks, what we basically do, once the bolt has been thrown, we only throw the bolt enough until the door can open. Okay, we don't turn this all the way because the overlifting pick will get stuck underneath the underside of the pack, you'll end up with a seized pick. So literally we turn it until the bolt is open enough to open a door, and then once the door's open, we bring the curtain wheel back round in the direction to lock. Okay, because that then allows us to get the overlifter back out of the lock. Okay, so that was a, a Union 5 lever. I'm going to quickly show you another couple of locks. Okay, what I've got here um, is an ERA Profit. Okay, this is uh, along the same lines as, a, uh, as an ERA Vi Viscount. Okay, so I'll just show you this one being done as well. Okay, it's a bolt thrown. Again, oh, different T bar because this is a seven gauge lock. And just get the correct overlifter for this lock. Okay, we have slightly different sizes of overlifters for particular locks. But the rule is, as long as you can feel the pack being lifted when you've actually applied a bit of tension on, then that overlifting pick will suit that lock. Okay, so literally again, just going to go on and off. With the tension, you can see again how quickly that one's gone. That one I have been allowed to actually turn all the way because we've got quite a short overlifting pick, and you can tend to feel if it's going to seize or not. Okay, so I'll just lock this one back off. Like I say, that was an ERA Pro Fit. What I get you now is a Chubb 3U114. Okay. And the Chubb 3U114, to tell the truth, uh, is much the same, in fact exactly the same, uh, as the Union. Okay, it's also the same as the Yales. Okay, so now just get my overlifting pick in. Just going to have my thumb over the top, a bit more control. And I can feel when it engages the anti-pick as well, so I make sure you can probably hear that reset. So if I just continue the pick, that is the anti-pick, because now there's nothing got any lift. Bring it back and you'll hear it reset. Okay, I'll just continue to pick through. And every time I feel the anti pick, I reset. You can hear that clicking back and forth. And just to make sure I'm catching all five of the levers in a lock, sometimes I slightly push in and out as I'm brushing the underside of the pick. Okay, because different locks have slightly different amounts of room in the lock case. Okay, so you can see I'm just it's taking a little bit more time. Ok, 
and as long as I just take my time, I'm not too rough with the lock or too rough with the pick. I don't want to break anything. You can hear it resetting there. And the reason that we go on and off with the tension is if we keep the same amount of tension on, obviously anything I lift is going to stay exactly where I lift it to. So slightly on and off with the tension, that removes the bolt stamp away from the fences and allows the levers to move up and down nice and freely, which is what I want them to do. You can hear the amount of times that I'm engaging anti-pick on this. I just go nice and slow, not too rough. Just like I say in all my opening techniques and whenever we teach, worst thing you can do is get frustrated with the lock or with the tools, because that way you're never going to actually open it. Okay, so just take my time with this one. You can see that one's gone. So again, I can feel the pick start to bind as I bring the bolt back. So again, just enough to open the door, unlock, and then bring it back round in the direction to lock, and that will allow you to get your pick back out. Okay, so basically if you feel the pick start to seize as you rotate to unlock, always just go as far as you can until the actual door is allowed to open, then bring it back in a lock direction. Okay, Bob, so what I'm going to just now show you is uh, just so you can see exactly what's going on inside the lock itself. Okay, it's all well and good to show you from the outside, but what I basically got here is a Union BS3621. Okay, but what you're going to be able to see is exactly how the actual overlifting pit works. Or perhaps not exactly, but a bit more of an idea. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in there. Okay, so I'm just going to shift this across a bit so I'm not too much in my way when I do this. Okay, so T bar in. Let's get the right overlifting pick. Okay, that one looks good. Okay, just going to. Okay, so overlifting pick in. I'm just going to bring that round. Oh, make sure it sits in the groove. Okay, just bring that round. And what you can basically see there, hopefully, is the actual pick. Okay, moving up and down. So, what I do, you can see how if I just lift, how it lifts the whole pack. See that? So, what I do, bit of tension on, light, I can lift, then on and off as I lift in the pack and you can see how quickly that went you can see the stump going okay so again got the overlifting pick in just move my finger out the way a little bit of tension on I can lift the pack tension reapplied start to brush gently on and off you can see how quickly that goes okay just to give you just another view on that Okay, what I'm going to show you now um, is just a nice uh, close-up uh, of uh, Era Invincible. Um, and what I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to slow this down so you can see how the actual levers react. Okay, I've already put the uh, T-bar in and I've already got my pick in. And you can see that if I just lift the pack there, you can see them all lifting up. Okay, so I'm going to start to pick this and like I said, I'm going to slow it down so you can actually see a bit more what's going on in there. Okay, so you see now that's actually picked, and this one does allow me to actually rotate and get my pick all the way out. Okay, and hopefully that's just give you a bit more insight into what's actually going on in there.